This is the home of Jennifer Birunji, the 45 year old, who has stayed here for quite some time. But on the 24th of December, she found a basin containing clothes inside the house, and it had been brought by her daughter, that is Beatrice Katusime. But she asked her to take it out because she feared it could be infested with bed bugs. But inside the clothes, there was something that looked like a canister, a tear gas canister, which the family mistook to be a toy for children to play with. Kati ero mlenzi na nkopi na jana nchima na gamba ya se nguse zijeye bafu yaani yaani ta njijeye yengo ye kati ne nkopi na anita ne mugamba kakati yona ngambi bafu nkolechi njijeye yengo ye na ngamba yeta suvila na kuda ni wadembe yengo yoko la chi kubie da kubie nzi gavida tinze nezi jaye yengo ye nezi leta nezi teka wano Reminants of the canister in the room are still evident it exploded at around 9pm when all five were in the room one of them is 10-year-old Vanessa, who was injured on the chest and limbs. According to Harriet Kawasinguze, her two-year-old daughter first carried it to hospital as a toy. Then there is a doctor, or they touch the thing, read, and they return back to my daughter. They returned home with a canister, oblivious of the danger it posed. Just as the family retired to bed, there was an explosion. Her grandmother, Jennifer Birunji, recounts what happened. <laughs> Ni manya masanya zikwanga masanya zikange gali gono nese. Ni manya masanya alazi hii. Katimuala nga nanga maneda mama kari akagunda kakewe wakabade mungo ya bana baka kome zao kwa kakulise. Nenga baba na kilo nani akade nese. Nwa kitu munga ambi ni mpama hituka o. Nga nzikiza yone kute mnyumba. Fuena tuli mkukaba yesu yesu yesu. Nga tugula wa uluji. Yenanga tia gasa mazio kunyingira wanu. Lofuruma antemi wanu mkono. Antemi wanu umunu wa mwana uye mtemi etemi ya. They were rushed to Mulago Hospital and discharged on Saturday. So pain to me. I don't do anything, even base myself. Of, just I, I use this one, but this one I don't do touch or what. Police are investigating. We have been discharged, but two are still in recuperation. But police would like to caution members of the public to stay vigilant and avoid blasts like this one uh, that might happen anytime. Uh, they should all also report such items to police so that they can be safely evacuated and detonated safely. Sudilbia Ranga, NTV Weekend Edition.